What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to be doing something that I haven't done since high school. And that is installing a car stereo. I recently bought a 2012 Toyota Tundra and it does not come with a decent stereo. It's all stock. So I went on Amazon to try to find something cool and I wanted something with a big screen. I didn't want a seven inch in dash. It needed to be large and the floating screens were really expensive. So I found something that's a 10 inch screen that is really awesome. Come check this out. All right, let's get this bad boy out of the box. So I picked this up on Amazon. It's from a company called Via Bex. It's a 10.1 inch screen. Oh, look at that. Even comes with a glass protector. That is awesome. All right, so we got multiple wire harnesses. So this looks like no matter what your truck type is, if it comes with JBL speakers or not, backup camera or not you're going to be able to hook it up with this one and i will leave a link in the description down below for this stereo in case you want to pick one up i did see some other versions that were cheaper but they all had really bad reviews so that's why i wanted to pick this one up this was one of the few actually i think it was one of the only ones that actually had decent reviews on it so it was a little bit more expensive but it looks like it's going to be well worth the money. Oh man, that is nice. So you can see the side here, how it kind of conforms to the dash. Once you install it, it'll kind of lay over the top. So it'll actually look like it's OEM when it's not. All right, let's get that old stereo out of the dash and get this new one installed. So this is what we're working with, this stock stereo right here. I got uh, I got my plastic tools here, so let's get this dash popped out and start getting this installed. What's up guys? I just wanted to give you a quick tip. If you are able to get this section out right here where the cigarette lighters are, you do not need to remove this whole center console. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is pull out this shift knob and then start pulling out some of this console so that we can get back behind here to the stereo. Just gonna lift up on this piece here. It should slide right out. There's a couple clips holding it in place. All right, there we go. That was pretty easy. So next we need to remove this piece right here. This is where your cigarette lighters are. And this should just pull straight out. It's like pull towards you. And pop right out just like that. And you can see if there's a few wires on here, so we'll pop those off and then get this piece completely removed. Now we need to remove this piece and then we can start prying this off and then we can get back behind the stereo. So there's one little tab right here we need to open up and then this piece should pop right out. If you're having trouble with this little tab right here, even though it has a little Phillips drive on it, this does not screw or unscrew. The center piece needs to actually come up. That's what pushes through and wedges it in there. Let's push up on it like that. And then I can pop it out.
So our climate control here, we're gonna grab it over here on this side and we're gonna start pulling it towards us and slide it out. Now I have access to these two bottom screws right here. They're gonna be 10 millimeter. So go ahead and throw on a 10 millimeter socket and we'll get these unscrewed. So now that we got these removed, there's two more screws holding this unit in place. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they're right back there. They're deep in there. So make sure you get an extension so that you can reach those screws. Now it should slide right out. Now that we can reach our factory wire harness, let's go ahead and unplug everything. And there we go. We got our OEM head unit uninstalled. All right, so we're ready to start the install of the new stereo. The new stereo came with two different wire harnesses and the manufacturer, they're nice enough to contact me and let me know which one that I should be using for this vehicle. And it's gonna be this one right here, the XC004. So if they don't reach out to you, make sure to check with them to make sure you're using the right wire harness. So here's our new wire harness. Let's get it all plugged in. And you can't really mess this up. They're only meant to fit a specific connection, so don't worry about it. Just figure out which one it fits, and then you're good to go. All right, we got our other bag of goodies open here. We got our 4G antenna. This is our GPS microphone a couple of usb ports this wire right here this is going to be for our backup camera and i do have an aftermarket backup camera that i'm going to be installing and what do we got here so this is for um, a sim card and we got our microphone input and a couple of video inputs so we got our new head unit back out and all of our wires let's start getting it wired up The stereo unit is all wired up, so let's go ahead and wire it into the truck and then we'll turn it on and uh, check it out. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let's see if it turns on. Oh yeah, look at that. That is awesome. All right, now that we got everything working that we tested it out, let's put everything back together. Also, there's these little plastic clips on your old unit. These need to come off and they're gonna to transfer to the new unit.
it installed, everything put back together. I think it looks pretty awesome. Me too. You too? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there's two main reasons why I decided to go with this unit. This unit supports wireless CarPlay, and it also works with your car's factory OEM steering wheel controls without actually buying any extra hardware, which is really cool. So we're gonna get into that right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up. First, we're gonna start with steering wheel controls. So this is your home screen. We're gonna go to apps, car settings. We're gonna scroll down here and we wanna go to steering learn. And then you can see all the presets that are on your steering wheel. So you, we're gonna match these up with what's on our steering wheel. We're gonna start with volume. Well, first, before you do that, let's go ahead and just clear it out. And then we're gonna click on volume. And then I'm gonna hold down the volume button on my steering wheel. And you can see right here, set up successful. And now I am gonna program the volume down, click that, and then hold it on my steering wheel set up successful. So now we have the volume set up. So I'm gonna go through all these and get all the um, all the functions on my steering wheel set up and then let's get into CarPlay. To set up CarPlay, we have two options. We can go with the wireless option or wired option. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go right here to apps. We are gonna scroll over to the last page right here where it says Z-Link. This is gonna connect our phone. And you're gonna see it go through a connection process through Z-Link and if you have it, and if you have it wired, it's gonna automatically pop up and you can see all of our CarPlay options. If you wanna connect with wireless, what you'll need to do is connect your Bluetooth. Make sure your Bluetooth is on on your phone and you're gonna to connect to CarBT. You wanna be on this little icon right here, these two little chain links to link your phone. And if you're not able to get your Bluetooth to connect, it's possible that it's off. So if we go right here to this gear icon, we're gonna click that and make sure your power is on. And you can see right here, the device name is CarBT and it might ask you for a device pin. It's four zeros. So go ahead and type that in, get your Bluetooth connected. We're gonna go back to the home button and we're gonna click on apps and we're gonna scroll back over to our Z-Link and there's our wireless CarPlay. So we got our phone, we got text messages, we got music on here, podcasts. I have three different versions of maps. I got my Apple Maps, I got my Google Maps, I have Waze, and WhatsApp, Spotify for music. Anything that's on your phone that's capable with CarPlay, it's gonna pop up on here. And right here on this side, it's gonna show you your last three used items. If you just want to keep it simple and use the radio, you can go back to your home button here. And we have a radio icon here so you can listen to all your favorite radio stations. And also within Maps, you have you have Google Chrome and then also you have Google Maps on here as well. If you want these functions to work, you're going to need to get a SIM card and get that installed to be able to use these functions. If not, use your CarPlay, it works just as good. To adjust the sound on your stereo, where you wanna go is back to your apps, and we are looking for an app called DSP, DSP settings right here, and this is gonna allow you to adjust your treble, your bass for front and back, and you have all these presets here with Dolby and SRS, so you can find the, the best setting of um, the sound quality that you like to use for your music. If you do wanna use these functions in here, like Maps, YouTube, Chrome, instead of getting a SIM card installed and purchasing that, what you can do is either connect to Wi-Fi or hotspot it from your phone. So to do that, we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to our apps and we're gonna go to car settings. And at the, the very top, you can see Wi-Fi. You can scan for all of the Wi-Fi's that are in your area. And then right there, you can see me. This is connected to my iPhone. So I can go back, I can go into apps, and if I wanna open YouTube, since it's a hotspot, it's not gonna be super fast, but I can open up YouTube um, or Chrome or use Google Maps on there. If you're gonna be using Maps, it's probably better to use CarPlay. It's a lot faster than it is to hotspot it from your phone. 
Well, I am really stoked the way that this install turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the uh, install was helpful with um, you installing your own. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. I got some really cool videos coming up. I built a really cool bunk bed inside of my son's room and then also made a secret hideout in the attic. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see when we post those videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.